Hey. What? I like your hat. Thank you. How's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicask. And Jean, yeah. this little ditty of a whiskey. Little ditty. One, the 2021 it San Francisco Whiskey Awards uh, Best in Class. Uh, I'm okay. guessing the class is blended scotches because this is a blended scotch. Now, Gene Cubbis Box will tell us everything we want to know about the recipe. I, for you, I'm going to leave a link down in the video description below so you can see their exact mash bill concoction. I remember 30, one thing I thought was odd is 30 some odd percent of this is from a distillery near Arbor Lore. Near. Which I'm guessing is probably Arbor Lore. It's got some Lafroig in there. So it, it doesn't say. Arbor Distillery. Correct. It says from a distillery near Arbor Lore. Thanks, yeah. Gradger. But it does have, I think, 18.2. For some reason, that sticks in my head is uh, uh, Lafroig uh, Glasgow blend. And uh, I don't know if this will, if that will uh, focus on that or not. But you notice the guy, if you can notice, the fella has uh, a cone on his head. So apparently, Glasgowians. Um, are known, which are people from Glasgow, are known, Gene, uh, for having a sense of humor and liking rich, thick whiskey. So much so that the uh, statue they have in the town square mm -hmm. has a traffic cone on its head. So they they're, put that on the label. They're cone head. Oh, they must be Saturday Night Live fans. <laughs> uh, the ABV is 4386 proof. Um, this is made from Sherry Oloroso seasoned butts, ex American. Uh, Oak hogsheads, ex bourbon barrels, no color added, non chill, filtered from John Glasgow. No, John Glazer. Where did I get Glasgow from? I don't know. Oh, that's, that's the name of the whiskey. Well, what you get on the nose there, Gene? Uh, I don't know if it's the, the color of the red or because it's the sherry. It's probably because it's got sherry. What are you doing? I was going to get coin, but that's okay. Go ahead. Oh, I get a lot of like the Ooh. strawberry and red berries. Um, I get the sherry, I get the cherry, I get the strawberry. It's just red. I, I'm I'm seeing red. I'm smelling red. Hmm. First note I get is a um, Lagavulin, but there's no Lagavulin in here. Uh, I don't smell peat. I smell smokiness, but I don't smell uh, peat. Okay. Well, first note I get is peat, but I get like a sweet smoke. Barbecued asparagus, fried meat going on a grill, but you apparently get none of that. That's okay. Mine is is a fruity. It's a fruit cocktail with um that you put in some kind of pot and then you put the pot over the grill and then you you cooked it on the grill for whatever reason you're cooking fruit cocktail. I don't know who would do that, but somebody did it. If you're the grapes are small enough, you probably could. Because otherwise it'll just fall down. Well, it's, a, it's in a pot. Oh, pot. Well, yeah, but that will fall down. Some of it. I heard I fruit cocktail. I heard grill. I'm glad you listened to me as much um, as I Oh, I do remember this now from the uncorking because I had a horrible note that um, I said to you and you're like, what? But now I get it. I get it again. And to remind you of that horrible note that I had, this reminds me of going to our local zoo and going into the barn. Fresh hay. Cows over there, horses over there, donkeys over there, what's up? Fresh hay in the local barn at the zoo, boom. I get that. <laughs> I didn't remember that until I got it again just now. I think that was something different that you took a note on. I don't think it was this. But well. If you're getting it on this, whatever. I'm getting a, a nice fruited sherry fruit with a little bit of smoke. Sherry, yeah, I'll give you sherry. Forgot it does have uh, Oloroso butt, season butts. Uh huh. This one's the. Sh this is nice. Uh yeah. So uh, light grass, some haze in there. You said strawberries, I think earlier. Yeah, I get, I get a lot of red berries, yeah. some vanilla, uh, just a hint of smoke. Uh, this to me just has a really nice nose. I'm going in. Have yourself a go in there, and I actually thought that this was a liter bottle. It's a 750, but it just looks nice and big. So there's that. There is. Pete on the palate. I didn't, I mean, I, I got the smokiness on the nose, but it is really light peat on mm. the palate. It's really creamy. Um, I, I get all those, the, the fruit, the fruit cocktail with just a splash of peat, lots of smoke. 
butter, vanilla. It's just nice, it's smooth. This is rich, this is thick, and this uh, exceeds expectations on the palate. Uh, it tastes more rich, more well more defined on the palate than it does on the uh, nose. Nice mouth fill. Mm. Coats the mouth, coats the gums. So yes. I'm about to go back in. The first impressions are just rich, flavorful, umami, and berries. It's like a creamy for me. It's like a milkshake. It's a milkshake that has somehow got the smoky flavor into it. I don't know how you smoke a milkshake, but there are people that can mm. smoke anything, and somebody's going to smoke a milkshake. Yeah. If you smoked a milkshake somehow, I want to know. How would it turn out? That reminds me of the uh, Meet the Fockers. Where Ben Stiller's like, oh, you can milk anything with nipples. What about, it? I got nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? <laughs> and he doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, Meet the Fockers. That's a hilarious movie. If you've, got, if yeah. you've not seen Meet the Fockers, oh my gosh. That is a funny freaking movie. So the peat, I would say, is actually more of an art bag than Lafroy, even though we know this is Lafroy. It's got some love fork in it. I don't know how much. You said it. You thought At it was 18. At least 18%. 18 yeah. I thought it, you said more like 13, but it doesn't matter. Um, more than 10. More than 10. Sweet pea, nice smoke, great flavors, rich, umami. Um, I don't like Lafroig necessarily. You don't like Lafroig 10. I, I like this. If Lafroig is in it, then great. You figured out how to make me happy, Lafroig. <laughs> <laughs> At least one of us did. Good job. Uh, yeah, nothing really changed with water so far. So, I just, here's what I, I just got. I just bought a bag of strawberry Twizzlers mm. and brought it home and I just opened it. <sighs> strawberry Twizzlers up in my nostrils. Love a bag of strawberry Twizzlers. Put, that's, put it in your nose. That's my number one movie candy. Strawberry Twizzler? I'm getting more of a sweet, smoky, peatiness well, it's a that smoke, I'm into. Smoked strawberry Twizzler. Yeah, this is nice, sweet. It's kind of like when you, if you ever watch barbecue shows, I, I love barbecue shows. Mm. I'll, I've been watching the hell out of them. Uh, like they all say the same thing. I don't know why they keep saying it. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. Every person says that. <laughs> but that's, this has a little bit of sweet, a little bit of smoke. I think that's what their goal is, to get a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. This Savory. this would be what I would give someone who's like, I've never had peat. Well, let me get you a slow ride introductory. Um, we're going to take a little roller coaster and we're going to get just a hint of peat. This would be what I would do like a, not the medium, but like you're getting towards the medium. Okay. In there. Yeah. So like a level four is what I would put this on for peat. Out of 10? Yeah. 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 Three to three to four. Mm. So yeah, yeah that's three, what four. I do. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna score it, Gene. Do it. First, I'm gonna race my last score. My last score, I gave a six on. It was not good. Sometimes, it's like being married to a child. What? I was trying to channel my inner John Mulaney right there. Sometimes, because he always says that. Sometimes. <laughs> always does that. John Mulaney is a stand-up comedian. Um, hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna say you did an 87. 89. Yeah, 89. 89 here. John Mulaney is hilarious. He is funny. Because yeah. today I was listening to John Mulaney, and John Mulaney had a cool joke about how he was writing a writing a skit for a show. Probably Saturday Night Live because he wrote for that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a joke, and he put the word midget in the joke. And the censor came up to him and says, you can't say the word midget in a joke. He said, why? He goes, it's as bad as the n-word. He goes, you know how I know it's not as bad as the n-word? Because we're saying the word midget and we're only saying the first <laughs> letter of the other word. So if you're comparing two words and one word you can only say the first letter of, that's the worst word. So, that's funny. kudos to John Mulaney. Now, Gene, now that you've scored it, I got something to, to confess about this bottle. What's that? I was hoping I'd remember this. I, when we test whiskey, we will uncork it, take some notes and I'll take the cork off and I'll leave it off while we're reviewing it. And then later I will remember, sometimes not this time, to put the cork back on. This was uncorked for 24 hours. Was it now? Yeah, so I was, I was curious what this would do being uncorked for 24 hours. So if you're ever curious what we'll do, that's what we'll do. 
What what did it do? It gave us the notes we had today. It gave us uh, compared to what we compared to the notes yeah, that they don't know about. Yeah, yeah, those notes, whatever those were, which were very similar to the notes. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I inadvertently left this uncorked for twenty four hours. Huh. Okay. Thank you for your confession and honesty. Do you want to know how much this cost? Was it? 80? I want you to guess. I'm gonna guess eighty nine. Nope. Um, but I think it probably costs... Nope. 89. Nope. What'd it cost? You're not even gonna get close. One million dollars, nope. Gene. What'd it cost? I don't know, I'm asking you. $32. What? <laughs> really? $32. Hell yes, 32. 30. Starts with a three, my Why? Price. Did we get it on sale? Uh, is that its normal price? I don't know what it normally goes for. I'm just telling you what I paid for. Thank you, Mr. Glazer. I appreciate you getting this whiskey out for that guy who made it. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Glazer. I appreciate you. 32. 30, yeah, hell yeah, it's worth that. Very nice. Nicely mm -hmm. done. Yeah. I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. <laughs>